Well, a police mistake turned into a trauma for a Charlotte woman. She says that officers handcuffed her and accused her of a crime that she did not commit. And CMPD's Internal Affairs Division is now looking into this encounter. But the woman says that she wants even more accountability. And she spoke exclusively with our Brianna Harper and shared her story as well as the changes that she hopes to see. It's been more than a week since this incident first happened, and that young lady tells me she just recently stopped having those traumatic flashbacks. Yet still, she says she plans to do whatever she can to ensure this type of false arrest doesn't happen to anyone else. Last Monday was like any other drive back home to Jay Horn's West Charlotte neighborhood. That is until she says she pulled into her driveway and noticed she had unexpected company. There's a police officer. He, he hops out of his car points his gun at me and yells for me to get out of my car. She says at least 10 other police cars quickly responded to surrounding her. He never asked for my driver's license or registration until um, he handcuffed me and put me in the back of the car. I'm just confused, like how, what's going on? No, I mean, I, I have a clean record. I mean, I'm a school teacher. In that moment, she says she could only think about the worst case scenarios. I thought that either I was going to die or that they were going to put something in my car that wasn't there. Turns out the police officers had mistaken her for a suspect with a similar name. And once they realized they had the wrong person, Horn says she was released with a simple sorry. At that point, the damage was done. I was already traumatized. She immediately filed a complaint with CMPD's internal affairs. Horn says she'd like to see the officers involved held accountable and also a review of the police protocol. CMPD Chief Johnny Jennings says he recognizes the need to make things right. We're looking at it and, and officers are taking that extra step so that she can feel better as much as we possibly can about that encounter. But more than anything, I want an apology, a real apology. I don't want just a, oops, I'm sorry. Horn says she's now seeking legal help in her situation, but she's also encouraging others, if you see a questionable police encounter, to pull out your cell phone and start recording, just as a safeguard for all those involved. Reporting from CMPD headquarters, Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.